Hey guys, what is going on? Lucky here, basically bringing you a quick look into Windows 8. Now you're probably sitting here thinking, well, why did he install Windows 8? Why did he go out and pay perfectly good money on this operating system? There's no benefit to it. It looks stupid. Well, the, pretty much the logical reason was I got it free. Uh, that's pretty much it. I managed to get Windows 8 free, legally of course, no torrenting, and I decided to install it, give it a go, and that's pretty much it. So let's have a look at what Windows 8 has to offer. I'll also show you how to cater Windows 8 to you in case you don't like it, and basically how to work with Windows 8 and basically avoid all this tall screen. So you're pretty much thinking, well, where's Windows 7? I want to use Windows 7. What's the point of installing Windows 8? I don't like how it looks. I like Windows 7. It's simple. It's easy to use. It has everything I need. There it is right there. Basically, Windows 8 has a uh, graphical user interface that works on top of the workings of Windows 7. So Windows 7 is doing all the operating system stuff like uh, running programs and doing all this, that, and the other. Basically, that thing. Whereas Windows 8 is more so the kind of more easy to access uh, version of the operating system where you can launch applications, uh, do other stuff like drag programs in together and kind of work side by side with them as well. So you're probably thinking that's all well and good, but what's changed? Well, pretty much all that's changed is basically how folders look just the color scheme is a bit different and there's no start button in the bottom left as well and you probably wonder well how am i going to find all my applications and programs if i have no start button i'm going to have to go back into windows 8 i'm going to have to look for a search bar i'm going to have to find my program and then i'm going to have to bring it back to windows 7 this is going to be a big mess not necessarily let's drag our mouse up to the bottom or the top right it doesn't actually make a difference so let's drag it down there it's the same thing we get a search bar as well as other things like the start bar, devices, settings. Let's go to search. So here's all my programs I have installed on my computer. We have Audacity, Internet Explorer. We have, uh, well, Internet Explorer, I don't know why that's there. But we have uh, Photoshop, uTorrent, eBay, Wikipedia, Windows Live Messenger. Everything I could possibly need is right there. But let's say I'm having a bad day and I can't find Photoshop. Let's just type in photo. photo. There it is, Photoshop, right there. And if I were to actually launch that application, actually open it on Windows 7, not the whole tall uh, menu we've actually seen a bit earlier in the video. We also have a quick bar right here, as well as uh, categories for applications, settings, and files as well. So let's go back to Windows 7. Let's go, let's go back. So here's Photoshop that I opened earlier, and there it is. Exact same if you were to open it on Windows 7. And there's also TextPad right there if you were to use it on Windows 7 as well. Everything looks exactly the same. So that's all well and good. And people may wonder, well, I got a Windows 8 laptop let's see what Windows 8 can do shall we well we go back to our start menu and we also have all these applications like Google eBay tune and radio uh, Wikipedia LastPass image hider everything like that we all the things we could use from day to day that are very simple and these aren't necessarily a third-party program that we download off the internet these actually come from the store so let's take a look at the store so here it is right here if you used an Xbox 360 or a Windows phone before or even an Android or an iPhone the stores are pretty much the exact same. We have all these categories like entertainment, photo, music and video, sports, books and references, news and weather, everything for everybody pretty much. And you're probably wondering, well, yeah, I use this on Xbox, but even Xbox has a search bar. Where the hell's the search bar? Well, it's the same one we just used, exact same. You may be thinking, well, he used that to search for his computer, but th that's not gonna search the store. Well, it's actually gonna search the store itself. It's actually a kind of a multi-purpose search uh, bar that actually works in every single application, every single web page, every single uh, music folder, or video folder, it's multi-purpose pretty much, and it'll detect what you're using and kind of cater itself for that application or folder, and will actually work for that one in particular. So we search for Skype, and there's Skype right there. We also have details like what processors it work on, reviews, uh, just about everything. We also go back, and we also have categories, all prices, search by revealance as well. So if you search for, for like say. Uh, photo and you get like 4,000 applications well you, you're not going to really narrow it down by clicking photo but you get my drift we also have prices like free free and trial paid served by revealance for newest uh, lowest highest price and highest rating as well so that's all well and good I showed you where to get your applications but I didn't actually show you an application let's try Wikipedia so I'm actually doing a project in college where I have to make a website based on a TV show and I picked the wire. I also clicked on uh, Nicky Nash to annoy someone, but let's, let's just ignore that for now. Let's get the wire. So here's the wire right here. Perfect. There's our creator, David Simon. Hmm. This seems pretty useful, but I don't really necessarily want to flick back and through uh, my website creation program as well as the actual Wikipedia application. Let's just drag that there. Let's go to uh, my desktop. 
And we're, here we go. We have my first summary ready to go, but I, I'm missing a bit of information. Let's just drag this down so you can find the first season. So that's weird. Main cast. Plot for season one. There we go. Ready to go. So you can see I can have all my information right here. I have text pad right here. I can relay that information from it. I could copy paste if I really wanted to. But say we want to rewrite it in our own words. We can just take little bits and pieces and rearrange it and make a giant kind of paragraph of season one. And we have the information right here rather than flicking through to and fro uh, all the applications and all the windows we have. So let's just close that. Let's just get rid of that. Let's go to another program. Let's say, hmm, uh, let's just say, I don't know. We want to go to a web page. I'll go to a web page like uh, Yahoo and show you a cool little feature. Let's go to Yahoo. Yahoo. Yahoo Mail. Apple. Oh, it doesn't work there. That's that's very unfortunate. So I was going to show you a cool feature, but that actually works up a kind of a new uh, subject I was going to talk about. Not necessarily all the features of Windows 8 are going to work on websites. They more so work in their... Um, in their Windows 8 environment. So let's go to sign in. So my user ID, let's just say, hello, YouTube. And let's go to password and let's say it's a password, let's see. Now, just by clicking this little like button, shows the password right there. That's it. It was a cool little feature that I really appreciate that they put in. It's not really a big deal. I don't know why I made a big deal over it um, in this video, but that's pretty much it. So let's go to music and take a look at what uh, Windows 8 has to offer in terms of music. So when I search for, say, I don't know, Star Wars, it'll actually show all the results there. So let's actually head back to uh, our main menu. So like Xbox 360, it has this huge layout, but it actually syncs with the Xbox 360 as well as other uh, Windows 8 programs that use the Windows Smart Glass, I believe. So you can actually sync up loads of programs, uh, devices, all up to each other, relay different bits of music and videos and movies all around your house or your college. A really cool feature as well, but I'm a bit too lazy to get that to work. Now, to finish up with this video, I think I'll just show you how we can rearrange our desktop. Uh, but first, let's show you uh, stuff like Star Wars launching from the Windows 8 environment that in Windows 7. So, there it is. It's just pretty much you click it, it opens in Windows 7. We can just go back to Windows 8 and leave it there. And I'll also make a few other videos on tips and tricks of Windows uh, 8 just to kind of narrow time on this. But let's say I want to make eBay and Google smaller. Just right click, make it smaller, right click, make it smaller. There we go. And uh, let's say, hmm, you know what? Camtasia doesn't really belong there. I think it belongs here. And you know what? Yeah, that seems like a good overview. It just it, It's a kind of a more contrasting and larger view of your uh, desktop, just in case you have thousands of applications. A simple click of a button narrows it down and shows you an easy navigation. So that's pretty much it. Uh, that, it was kind of a weak ending to this video, but I want to thank you so much for watching and taking your time to have a look at Windows 8. In my opinion, Windows 8 is one of the best operating systems I've ever used. That's no joke whatsoever. A lot of stuff does seem a bit gimmicky, but if you use it at all, what's uh, what's the harm? So that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Come and subscribe for more Windows 8 and other stuff. And if you enjoy other tech videos, hit up the channel in the description uh, for a friend of mine who does loads of tech videos. And uh, that's pretty much it. So thank you so much for watching. Goodbye, good luck, and hope you get Windows 8 very soon.